Hey guys, and welcome back to my Agrarian Skies Let's Play series. And I'll show you what's going on with this bee breeding here. I had some excited bees uh, breeding here, but um, currently, the genetics seems to be almost going backwards. I lost two of my drones with Excite Trait, trying to breed a queen with Excite Trait, and now um, I bred my last drone with it with a pure cultivated queen. So there's a very good chance I'm going to completely lose it all this time around. Hmm. I hope that's not the case. So I'm just going to let this go uh, with the magic of YouTube for a second, and then we'll see what happens to this cultivated queen. Okay, and the bee, she is uh, almost done. Oh, and we got interrupted by the rain. <laughs> so I'm gonna, we're going to have to wait on this one. But in the meantime, let's get going on AmeriCulture work. Something I'll do in the meantime before I get uh, the bee production of redstone going, uh, which should be fairly soon. Like I, I basically have the bees. I'm going to need to do it. I just have to breed them pure. So I'll head over to Mariculture area and show you guys what I've done. Built this basic little kind of house here using the Mariculture limestone bricks. I think it looks uh, pretty good. It's cool. These chiseled bricks actually have fish on them. Um, not quite sure what's up with this texture here on the bottom. Uh, I guess it's maybe a bug in the texture pack. But inside here, I've got an, a vat going. And the vats you use to produce bricks, um, as well as to make fish oil. So you can uh, make the crucible fit furnace and other mariculture things such as uh, the sticks. I'll show you about recipes pretty quickly. So if we do at mariculture. Okay. So we have the crucible furnace. Oh, that's pretty basic. You just need to, uh, the trickiest thing to make is actually a burnt brick and you do that by putting regular bricks in a vat of lava and just waiting and they'll turn into burnt bricks. Um, anything else there that's a little tricky is maybe the heating component. Um, and you make that with silicon carbide and that's just sand, clay, and coal. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, this structure needs to be too high. And I surrounded by lava because I saw someone doing that on a YouTube video, and there's something to do with the heat around it that makes it uh, require a little less fuel, but I'm not entirely sure about that. So, I don't know, maybe you guys can test it without the lava. I put this, <laughs> these iron bars here just to keep myself from falling in. Okay, but the next thing we want to do is we're going to want to make some fishing rods, because I want to fish some pearls, and the really basic reed rod just hasn't been working for me. Like from all the fishing that I've done so far, I've gone these fish here, and you can see there are no oysters in here at Pearl, so I've been using these reed rods. So, um, yeah, let's look at what we need to make the better rods. Uh, fishing rod. It's typing wood, because the next one is the wooden rod. Okay, and we need polished sticks, which are made out of polished planks, which are made out of polished logs which require putting oak wood, or maybe any other kind of wood, in a vat of fish oil. Okay, and how do we make the fish oil? Make the fish oil by melting fish in a crucible furnace. So let's go grab some fuel, grab some fish, and start melting them down. Um, maybe I could even set the cell up to automate and just fill a crucible furnace up with fish oil. So maybe we'll make another one of those. Uh, not crucible furnace, I mean a vat with fish oil. So vats are just, it's like making a cauldron, but you make it with uh, invar. So make one of those. Grab some fluid ducts. Yeah, they're, they're probably in this chest here. There we go. And uh, we're going to need the handy crescent wrench. Let's just get this set up. Oh, I've, <laughs> I completely forgot the fuel. Which is the main reason why I ran over here. I'll just grab a couple stacks of charcoal and maybe a chest to store it in. Okay. So I'm really excited about trying to get some pearls because I'd like to produce the Mariculture jewelry because um, I think it's probably a decent way to fly around um, with flying enchants on it. So we'll try to get that going ASAP. So. Crucible furnace. 
throw some fuel in here. The temperature should start raising. And let's put some fish in there. Do you have a raw neon tetras? Okay, and once that reaches a certain temperature, you should start melting down. And let's see if we can uh, pipe out the fish oil. Just like... Okay, I think that will work. Just do it like so. And I'm probably going to need a pneumatic servo on... Oops! Pneumatic servo on there. So... While this is raising up to temperature, I'll go grab that quickly. All right, I've got the pneumatic servo. And if we look inside here, we can see some of the fish are gone. And we have some fish oil. Oh, it tells you the melting point of different fish, which is kind of cool. Let's see if we can put two different kinds of fish up there at once. What else do we have? A lot of, we have a lot of cod. So we'll dump some cod in there as well. Cool, and maybe they'll, uh, they'll both melt at the same time, or maybe just one and there's other. Let's go. Hey, yeah, they both go. Okay, and let's see if this will automatically pump out of here. Ah, it does. Excellent. Nice, that's uh, convenient. And now I just have to get an auto fisher set up to make this happen automatically. Okay, I'm going to go grab some wood. And then we'll fill up that, uh, fill that up with some logs so we can make some better fishing poles. Just dump this extra coal in here. And the one bad thing is it kind of always burns fuel. <laughs> so, oh well. We, it's not like we're uh, lacking charcoal or anything. Okay. Get some logs going. That's probably plenty. Okay, and hopefully this is what we need to do to get the pearls. I don't really know. How many logs can I put in here? Can I put can I put a whole stack in? I guess I guess so. It doesn't seem to have any limit. It's definitely filling up. Oh. Seriously, did that just happen? Was it exactly sixty-three you can put in there, but not quite sixty-four? I guess <laughs> 63 is exactly the limit. That's interesting. That's that's a little weird limit. Okay. Where are our sticks? Are you, are you done? No? I guess it'll take a little while. It takes a little while with the bricks in this thing. So hopefully this should allow us to get some oysters um, if we fish with a better rod. Okay, what else do we need to make these better rods? So there's a wooden rod. It's RF rod. Titanium rod. So titanium rod is polished titanium. And you need to put titanium and fish oil. Stick in malted titanium. You get malted titanium by melting down blocks of titanium or titanium ingots. Okay. Titanium ingots. We can get from bees. Let's see if there's something here. Multi okay, what about impure titanium? Aha, brutal ore. I don't know how to get that. <laughs> oh, we can make it. Yeah, well, that's nether brutal ore. That's not. That's not gonna help us. I guess maybe we need to go to the nether. I hope not. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know how to get the titanium. I'm gonna have to look around in the ex Nilo site. Well, oh, there's an Invar fishing rod, but that's uh, from a different mod. Okay, so we'll do the wooden one for now. So we're gonna need a bit of string for that. Hopefully this is all I need for pearls. So if it's not, I gotta figure out how to get this titanium. Uh, where am I going? Where is that string? Yeah, it's still a little laggy around here. I think it's uh, I think it's actually being caused by this insane smelter setup I've going. Uh, I'll, I'll deal with that at some point. Well, didn't mean to grab that much. 
Um, one thing I can do is once I get my uh, uh, cyclic assembly chamber, not cyclic assembly chamber, but ME uh, crafting CPUs and whatnot all going, then I can just uh, automate this a lot easier through um, induction smelters and whatnot. And start to remove some of this piping and everything. Okay. Do we got the polished sticks? Hmm. Maybe you gotta gotta wait longer. Polish sticks, polish planks, polish logs. Okay. Add a fish oil, 45 seconds. So I don't know about you, but I have a feeling it's been uh it's been more than 45 seconds. Give me my log. Maybe I maybe it's taking longer because I put too many in. Definitely been longer than 45 seconds. What's going on here? Oh, we got leather from that. Where did leather? I guess we got leather from the fish. I I don't understand. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna give it some time off camera. And I'll be back once I got some sticks from this or if they have it figured out. All right, guys, and while we're waiting for that, I'm going to try to figure out if I can get some rutile. So I've looked it up, and apparently what you need to do is you just got to sift some limestone. So let's try to do that. Got our sieves here. What do we not really need more? We don't need that much more nether quartz. So let's uh, throw this in here. Like so, and hopefully uh, we'll start getting some instead. What's that going to give us the first time? If I stand right on top of it, I should get it. Broken iron ore. Ah, oh. oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> or maybe it's maybe it's doing the soul sand first. Anyways, well, I'll let that go for a bit, and let's check. I don't think we're getting anything from that quite yet. But anyways, we'll go and we'll check on uh, the sticks. See how they're doing. It's still raining. It's um, it's crazy. It just doesn't stop. So I emptied out the the vat and I put in uh, only two logs. And hopefully it will go faster if there's only two. Oh, nothing. Okay. I'm I'm obviously uh, missing something here. <laughs> Maybe you need to apply heat to it as well. I don't know. It just says you know put wood into that. Wooden fishing rod, sticks, polished planks, polished logs, fish oil, that, and oak wood. Hopefully, yeah, it's same old regular kind of oak wood. Okay, well, I'm going to have to look this up a bit because this just doesn't seem to be working for me. All right, I'm back and I figured it out. Apparently, just a single vat here isn't enough. You can't put enough fish oil in it to make uh, the polished sticks. You got to put like, you got need something like uh, a two times two vat. So I need to make some more vats. So let's do that. And we can also... Uh, Check on our bees. I typed in that and came up with Vimpar anyways. That's commit. So I'm going to need three more of these. One, two, three. Okay. I didn't even know that was an option, to tell you the truth. Okay, let's check on our bee. Hopefully, hopefully we got the excited bees going. Some redstone production would be really handy. I know I can produce redstone with, uh, with the trees. Ooh, excited princess. Nice. But I kind I kind of like doing oak bees more. I think it's a cooler setup. Plus, bees are useful for a lot of other things too. Okay, excited cultivated. Cool. Come on, cultivate excited. Nope, just cultivated. Come on, come on, some more excited. Sweet. Okay, that's what we want. Let's see, is this princess gonna? Yeah, this is a lightning princess. So that's good. 
Uh, this should increase our chance of getting a purebred bee out of these. Okay, and let's run away quickly before we get uh, hit by lightning. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Seems like the sound is disabled. Hey, we've still got some sheep here. A lot of my animals are starting to disappear, it seems. I think it's a result of there being too many ocelots running around. So I've started, uh, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I've been placing like these little patches of greenage, like so, um, in jungle biomes, because uh, I don't think mobs can spawn on top of these micro blocks. So I'm going to try to cover all the jungle biomes with these, and hopefully I shouldn't get any more ocelots spawning. They are entertaining, but I, I'd rather have some other animals popping up here, too. Okay, let's increase our vantage. Uh, ah, cool. Ah, of course we lost everything when we did that, but that's okay. Got lots of fish oil. Oh, I should throw some more fish in there. What do I, okay, we'll put some night fish in. Ah, maybe the damsel fish as well. I don't think we need more fuel. That's pretty hot already. Nope. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to wait for that to cook up. Let's uh, let's put some logs in. So I think we just, it's just one log you need. Oh, perfect. We got one log in there. Hopefully that one log should be it. it takes 45 seconds, but I don't think this vat is quite full enough. But the fish are melting nicely. Hmm, let's check and see if we got any rutile while wow, that's going. You can throw the rest of this stuff back in the system too. Oh, I'm going to need that string. Okay. Come on, rutile. Hmm. I don't see any rutile here. Is it titanium? Uh, no. I guess the chance is just really low, so low for it that it's not really popping up. Because I'd really like to get some titanium sticks and then uh, be able to make uh, the RF fishing rod. So I can use RF and, uh, to repair it instead of having to continuously make more. Okay, so we'll just tell it to stop sifting the soul sand and to only put limestone in here so we can get the rest of the soul sand out and it doesn't uh, start clogging up the system. So much junk. You know, I'm going to save one thing of soul sand because I want to check if I can put it through the sifter. Also grab some dirt, put through there. I think you can do like sand and leaves. Oh, you can do wheat, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to need quite a bit of bait. I'm going to do some serious fishing very soon. An oyster would be uh, handy. Okay. No. Not an official, I guess. Oh, I got a, bo a bone out of that. That's, that's interesting. Hmm. Maybe we'll put the rest of that charcoal back in there. Yeah, you're not done yet. I don't think so. Okay. Well, I'll let this go for a bit, and I will be back once I have the uh, logs that I need, guys. All right, and I've done it. I finally have my first polished log here. Uh, it took a little while. Um, I discovered the best fish to put in here are actually cod, because cod produce far more oil than any of our fish. Uh, uh, okay, I'll have to kill this cod to show you guys. Or actually, maybe I can put a live cod in there. Let's see. No, I can't. So if you have a live fish, and you get the live fish just by standing in the water and fishing, uh, you can kill it just by throwing it on the ground and picking it up. Okay, so if you take a look at the raw cod. You see it produces 2,500 millibuckets of uh, fish oil. That's a lot more than other fish, which at the most produce a tenth of that. So cod is particularly good for making fish oil. Um, you also get a chance to gain leather back from it as well. So we'll let that go and uh, just try to get some more fish oil, but 
In the meantime, let's make this uh, new fishing rod because I can use a better kind of bait now, I think. Nice. And I like that you actually get quite a bit of it from this. Oh, actually. Hmm. That's not quite enough to make three fishing rods. Maybe what I should do is make the automatic fisher just right off the bat. What's this wooden construction block? Okay, that I can do. Yo, I'm just going to make the automatic fisher. Forget about fishing. What kind of fish do I need to make this? Uh, another fish, blaze fish, perch, tuna, dragonfish, minnow. I got those. Sweet. It's okay. Well, let's make the automatic fisher. This is better than just having to stand there and do it all manually. Uh, I just had a Emmy system do it there. So we have a rest of components. Okay, so first thing I need to do is to make two of these rods. And it's just like so. Sweet. Okay, and now I need to do, make that construction block. Mm, wooden construction block, which is uh, just wood logs and some fence. And we got we got all that. Okay. And logs and fence. Cool. I hope I don't have to. Pa oh, wait, that's not working. I'd probably just. Uh, huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know there's a, a quicker way to move them around, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, um, wait. Mm -hmm. And I think you just need planks like so. And a fish. No, why aren't you working? Oh, those are logs, not planks. Okay. This thing requires a pretty uh, confusing arrangement of <laughs> various wood pieces to make, but nothing expensive. Cool, we got an automatic fisher. And I think the way this thing works is you put it by water and then put uh, bait in it and it just fishes for you. So let's see if that works. Oh, I'm starving. Okay, we'll just uh, put them down like so. Oh, you do need power. What a jip. <laughs> My power system is all way, way over there. It's okay, I can make a power cell and bring it over here. Oh, I need a fishing rod. Read fishing rod. Put in some ant bait. Oh, it needs to be above water. Well, uh, actually, I'm not going to move that block because I'm pretty sure if I do, there's going to be uh, no nice looking blocks under it. So we'll just, we'll do this. Put some soul sand down, put you on top, and then remove that soul sand. Cool. Now we need power, fish, and a fishing rod. Bait and a fishing rod. Okay. Last thing we need is RF power. I don't know if I have an RF energy cell kicking around. Um, so yeah, I will, uh, I'll do that off camera. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, and I've made a new one and I got it charged super fast just by swapping it for the one that I use for my uh, Hemi system. So let's just plop it down right here. Let's see what this does. Missing RF. Ah, oh, I need cable, don't I? This block will work unless given a signal. Auto eject items. Auto eject disabled. Yeah, let's just save that. Okay. Well, I guess I need some power conduit as well. I was hoping I could just plop the cell down right beside it, but it doesn't look like that's going to work. Um, you know what? Maybe, maybe we'll get a chest too. Just in case that auto inject can put in a chest. Okay, and then we're going to want uh, conduit. All right, and that better be it. <laughs> All right, one, yeah, actually, one conduit's fine. Because I will set it up like so. Put a chest there, and then cell, and conduit, and we want you to. Huh. Oh, well, I thought you specified directions, but I guess that's probably changed. 
Okay, so this is the front. So we want you to output there. Okay, wait, got the power. Has a rod. Oh, and it's it's fishing, but it is slow. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to load it up with some some bait and just just let it go, let it do its thing. But uh, that's gonna take a while. Hmm. I guess it's a good idea to make like multiple of these. Okay. I say auto eject items. Let's see where those items go. I'm hoping that they don't just like pop out the top, but they actually go into the inventory. Uh, that's a fluid duct. Maybe what I want is an item duct or uh, one of those. Uh, uh, one of my one of those. Uh, God, I, I can't even think what it's called anymore. Um, you know, the, the hoppers to pick up everything. Is it an ender hopper or vacuum hopper? Okay. Well, so let's grab the item duct. Okay, and we'll grab a pneumatic servo, just in case it does kind of spit them out randomly, because I don't have any extra vacuum hoppers sitting around, I don't think. Okay, are you done? Not quite yet, not even, eh? Hmm, come on, hurry up. Oh, I shouldn't have pressed that, turned it off. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, I'm going to let this go for a second. I'll, I'll be back, uh, and we could finish off the video by seeing what actually happens from this setup. Okay, I'm back, and the automatic fisher is just nearly dead. Oh, what happened there? Did we get anything? I can't open the chest to check. <laughs> uh, I, I can just break it. Oh, there's something in there. There's not. I'm not really sure where these items are going. Oh, nothing in there. I guess it doesn't work all the time. That's, that is strange. It's auto eject items. Where's it ejecting them to? Hmm. Okay. Let's try something a little different. Put it just here, like so. Turn off auto eject. Put an item duct. And a pneumatic servo. And we'll just say, oh, we'll just pump items out. Cool. It's not removing the bait. And uh, hopefully, we'll get something uh, made in there. But I think that will be for the next video. Uh, maybe we'll just take one second to look at our uh, redstone bees, excited bees, before we finish this one off. Because I think the chance of this producing something right now is pretty slim. So let's run over here. And see, maybe, maybe we're lucky. Maybe we have a, a purebred strain finally. This bee breeding sure is a lot of work. Uh, the next step will be to do the genetic modification on these bees, and so it can produce a whole lot more. And also get rid of all these ocelots here. <laughs> okay, nice. Uh, well, doesn't look like we're gonna have two purebred bees, but maybe if we're lucky. Ah, oh, excited, cultivated still. Okay. Mm, cultivated, cultivated, cultivated. Oh, we don't want you. Cultivated, cultivated, cultivated again. That's okay, because I got one more excited, cultivated in here that I can mix with that. And hopefully that will increase the chance that we get something good. I usually don't have this much trouble of uh, getting the bees that I want, but these guys just seem to want to breed cultivated all the time. We'll launch their mover edge. Okay, and I think this is a good place to end this video. Made quite a good progress on the mariculture setup, and ah, hopefully when I come back, there'll be uh, a lot more fish and maybe some better fishing rods so we can finally get some of those pearls. Thanks for watching.